So, essentially, essentially, I'm taking on challenges, and uh, one of them is sales. I have not disclosed this on the channel yet, but I guess this is full disclosure. I have gotten into sales, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's a good challenge for me on multiple levels. And I wanted to make this video uh, before the first sale because uh, for anyone who's interested in watching my progress slash frustrations slash the whole thing, uh, you will be able to see from this one because this one is, is pre, pre any sales. It's, I'm in solar, so it's with my brother, moved out back to Fresno, basically to learn door knocking and what that means exactly. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> It's very interesting that, that this has come my way. Juan? Um, so... Wait for that to stop. So before I even started this channel, uh, you could say I was quite, quite introverted and pretty shy, and now I'm not. I'm not. I'm no longer an introvert, but I'm also not an extrovert. Um, I started off as an introvert, and then after doing this channel for two years, two plus, two and a half years now, and having fifty plus guests on the snail show and while simultaneously doing ride share for a living and talking to many 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 strangers and having 10,000 plus passengers come through these doors via ride share I should probably have turned that off before I started doing the video um, so so I, I'm no longer an introvert and I'm not, I'm not shy. I'm not scared to talk to people. The, the blocks, if there are blocks to me figuring sales out and being able to do it, uh, if there are blocks, the blocks are, are that it's monotonous and repetitive. That, those would be the only blocks. And of course, if, if slash when I make sales, then having the money offsets uh, the blocks, obviously. But it's also a matter of me submitting to known theory and technique for sales. So, uh, so as far as chess is concerned, and, and these two things are kind of coming together at the same time, which is beneficial. Uh, I've done chess my whole life in, in a free-form manner without studying theory, very much theory, without studying game games of masters very much. A little bit here and there, but for the most part, everything that I learned comes from playing the game. So there's a program called Leela, uh, and it's an AI that taught itself how to play chess on Lee Chess. Uh, and it taught itself how to play the game without having preloaded books, which means it played millions plus games against itself, and uh, then it, it uh, learned that way and that way only. 
no no knowledge from outside was given to that computer and now that computer is competing with the best of them I don't know about uh, Alpha Zero I don't know how Lilo would perform against that but Lilo is very good so to complete the 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 metaphor I'm I'm a similar type of thing with my chess according to my own natural raw talent and I got to a certain level in chess and uh, I sort of peaked to what I could do with my raw talent without any structure and without any order and I pretty much peaked with what I could do with it and I saw that in order to progress from that, I would need to add structure, structured thought process, pro thought processes, and structured study. And of course, that's something that's anti-me. Uh, now, the same thing with solar. I've been doing it for you know a month or so. I've been knocking doors. I've been talking to a lot of people, uh, and I've been doing it partially my own way and partially uh, with guidance. It hasn't been one way or the other. Sometimes I'll go out with my brother and the other guys, and we'll we'll do it together and discuss what's happening. And sometimes I will do it by myself. And sometimes I don't do it at all because I'm not motivated or I don't feel like it because I'm there's some other emotion that says don't do it or I just don't feel like it or something. You know, there are lots of different... When you're trying to freeform something or flow something that isn't straight off the bat conducive to flow, then uh, frustrations come in at that point. So there are a lot of juggling. There's a lot of juggling of my internal state which uh, is a meditative state for the most part. So to be involved in sales, which is considered to be uh, a position for someone who's extroverted and perhaps a bit pushy, uh, it's opposite. But at the same time, with all the meditation and the, the ego dissolution and all of that, uh, you drop all of the identity structures, or most of them, so then you can come into uh, basically any sort of personality. You know, there, there, there isn't, just like the video I made previous to this one about the, the infinite you versus the, the limit systems, there is not a limit to what sort of form you can slip into. You can slip into any form. And I can slip into the sales form and enjoy that, I'm sure, just as much as I could stay completely introverted and withdrawn from all of this world drama. Because that's what I've been doing, you know, I've been, I've been very quietly moving in the realm or the world, even though I've been doing a lot and visiting people and producing quite a few things on the channel, I'm still very quiet. Uh, but I don't have to be any one certain way I can be any way that I like, or I can submit to some other person's uh, rule system. So essentially, what I'm saying is I'm going to go into solar, and I have been doing some of this, but I'm going to go into sales theory. I'll treat it just like chess. I'm not gonna do the free form thing only, I, I will combine the two of them because the reason I'm comfortable speaking with people is because I've done so much of it. It's not because I have anything necessarily special to say, it's because I've spoken in public for a really long time, so it's comfortable for me. And speaking to someone about solar isn't different other than I don't have a naturally willing audience to listen to me, right? When you knock on someone's door, generally speaking, it's, it's a bit of an intrusion. So you have to make peace with that person or make them feel that uh, familiarity with you. And then at that point, you can move on to whatever sales, excuse me, salesy stuff you can do.
And just like chess, with with sales, you are stepping into a finite system. Okay, it's called sales. Sales is a very specific piece of capitalism, right? It's a very specific very 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 specific piece and there is theory around it and there is practice and there is uh, there is best practice there is a whole thing the couple of the videos I listened to one of the guys was saying uh, it's it's a basic language when you're talking to someone in in sales speak you're talking in a basic language it's like learning Spanish or something you don't talk to somebody when you're on a sales call the same way as you talk to your friend. You talk to them differently. So you learn the language, you learn the nuance, you learn what uh, trigger words people have, and you start formatting your output. So that's that. Uh, Who knows exactly how it will go for me. It's been going okay. I have set some appointments. I have not, again, gotten a sale yet. Uh, I also have not applied formal study to it yet. In other words, keeping a record of techniques I'm, I want to use, doing uh, sort of uh, pitches, practicing, and then of course that becomes natural. Once you learn the basic language, then all that comes naturally. And if I stay with it or if, if I get fed up with it and toss it out the window is yet to be seen. Um, I'm sticking with it for now. And I think even I'm just sticking with it, period, because that's one of the things that uh, I've struggled with is sticking with a thing, with anything. I like to be free to go whichever way the whimsy pulls me. And uh, again, as most of you know, that that mentality is not conducive to uh, receiving dollars and whatnot. Although it is, it's very freeing to be able to experience that. And then, of course, people watching you and listening to your output are are feeling the same freedom. But it, again, it's not conducive to fit it, fitting it within the the ordered economic structure of the society. So that's what's going on with me. Let me know what you guys think. Um, any tips are welcome. And I uh, hope everyone's having a good one. Take care. I will see y'all later. Peace.